Calendars. In Project 2016, the calendar shows the various hours in a workday, the days in a work week, holidays, and non-working days on which a project schedule is based. Project allows you to set base, project, task, and resource calendars. A resource is anything you use to accomplish a task or to advance and complete the project. Resources can be employees, equipment, and so on. It helps if you know the function of each calendar before you begin to use any of them. Part of successful project management is efficiency, so it is important to take the time to learn exactly what every aspect of this software offers you. The four calendars project gives you help you schedule and organize different aspects of the project. Also, the four calendars interact with each other to help you manage even the smallest aspect of the project. The base calendar is the template calendar that all the other project calendars are built from. There are three base calendars, standard, 24 hours and night shift. Standard reflects a default working day as 8 to 5 with an hour built in for lunch. This is Monday through Friday. 24 hours allows work to go on around the clock every day of the week. The night shift template sets the working times as 11pm to 8am with an hour for dinner and a Monday through Saturday work week. The project calendar is the default calendar used for scheduling. It is also where you choose the base calendar template that you will use for a project. The resource calendar combines the base calendar with any exceptions that you set for a resource. An example of an exception can be non-working times. The task calendar is where you set exceptions for certain tasks. Whenever you create tasks and assign resources to them, as we'll learn later in this course, project must base that work on a timing standard. For example, a workday, night shift, a week and so on. An example is this. If you tell project that a task will be completed in one workday, project knows that a workday typically means 8 hours. It can also be 12, or however many number of hours that you set up in your calendar. By the same token, if you set up a resource that will be used for two weeks of work, measuring weeks by a five-day work week, it will show a timing of 10 work days, not the standard 14-day period that typically comprises a two-week period. Just be careful. If you schedule a two-week task, but the resource needed to accomplish the task is set for three weeks, the task will not show as completed after two weeks. It will be three weeks instead. This will all make more sense as we move forward and learn more about the program. To start with, let's open the project calendar, which is different from the calendar view. Remember, this is where we choose the base calendar that we'll use for a project. To access the project calendar, go to the project tab, then click on the project information button. You'll see this dialog box appear. This should look familiar from earlier in the course. In the dialog box here, you can choose the base calendar that you want to use in a calendar field. You can also establish the start and end dates for the project. Do not worry about anything else at this time. We'll discuss advanced options later, but for now you can set your calendar if you didn't do it when we entered the project information. Click the OK button. This is the calendar that will now be used for the project. Next, let's learn how to set options for the calendars you use in Project. To do this, click on the File tab, then select Options from the left in the Backstage view. In the dialog box that appears, click Schedule on the left hand side. To change the day that the week starts on, go to the Week Starts On drop down list and choose a day. If you want to change the start of the fiscal year, go to the Fiscal Year Starts in drop down menu and select a month. You can change the work hours for a day by changing the default start time and default end times. You can also change the hours per day, hours per week and days per month. Click OK when you're finished. If you want, you can make it so a task calendar uses a different base calendar than the one you choose for your project. When you do this, the task calendar that you will use will overrule the base calendar for that particular task. For example, if you choose the standard calendar for your project, but a 24-hour task calendar, a task duration of one day would be 24 hours instead of one workday. To change the calendar you use for a task, double-click the task name in the worksheet area of the Gantt chart view. To change back to the Gantt chart view, go to the View tab and click on Gantt chart here. Now double-click on the task name. 
You'll then see the Task Information dialog box. Click on the Advanced tab, then choose a new calendar from the drop-down list. Click OK when you're finished. If you have a resource assigned to a task that has a modified calendar, the resource will only work during hours that the two calendars, the resource and the task, have in common. You can only have one calendar for work resources. You cannot have a calendar for material resources because material resources are charged by units used. To modify a calendar for work resources, display a view that shows the resource column. Then double click a resource name. Let's actually go to the resource sheet by going to the view tab, then click on the resource sheet button. Then we can see a list of resources. Let's add in a resource for now, just so we can see this example. Now let's double click on the resource name. This resource is Microsoft Word. You'll then see the resource information dialog box. Make the changes that you need to make, then click on OK. Again, we'll work with resources later in this course. Let's say that on St. Patrick's Day, you and your employees will only be working a half day. You can create an exception to the normal working time to reflect this. To do this, go to the Project tab, then click on the Change Working Time button. You'll then see the Change Working Time dialog box. Locate the day on the calendar for which you want to create an exception. Enter a name for the example in the Name field. Ours will be St. Patrick's Day. Add the start and finish dates. Since it's just one day, we enter the same date for start and finish times. Then click on the Details button. Notice that we can check working times here. Then enter the working times for that day. Since we only want to work the half day, we're going to put in just the first section of the day, which is four hours. Now, since this is a one-time instance only, we have it set to end after one occurrence. Click OK when you're finished. In Project 2016, calendars will determine the working hours that tasks and resources run. They are highly necessary to successful project management because they keep you organised and on task on time. It is important that you take the time to set your calendars at the beginning of each project. What's more, it is also important that you become familiar with everything that we've learned related to the calendars in this lesson. As we progress further into this course, you will be using these calendars to schedule tasks and resources.